Our repossessions are skyrocketing, helping to trigger a collapse in pricing in the wholesale used car market. In the end of today's video, we'll be sharing a tip for how to bypass the greedy dealers, so stay tuned for that. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, joined today by the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. As I said, stick around for the end today because we're going to share some tips on how to get your used car much cheaper and faster. Mm -hmm. On the topic of repos, between the years 2018 and 2019, it took an entire year to get to 1.8 million repossessions. This year alone, just past the halfway mark, we already have 2.2 million repos, mm -hmm. twice as many as before. Repo lots around the country are full of thousands of used cars. Well, don't expect an immediate impact on the used car market because banks are just trickling them out to the auctions. They aren't stupid, so they aren't going to let out the floodgates. But the truth is they are struggling to keep the prices up. And we've already seen many cases where vehicles are being sold surprisingly cheaper. Several sources tell us that there are thousands of vehicles that are just sitting at the lots known as non-sale because <laughs> yeah. they were priced too high <laughs> and buyers are turning them down. Yeah. Those cars recycle and then come back with much lower price expectations. Thousands more are waiting in staging lots, forcing the timing of the previous batch. And this is true all across the country. All you have to do right now is to be patient. Mm -hmm. I'd also like to take this opportunity to give a shout out to Lucky Lopez, another YouTuber, for sharing an excellent video on this titled Used Car Market Bubble Popped Update. He provides excellent footage of the thousands of cars sitting at the auction. Lucky has great connections, it's quite obvious from his content, and puts out highly reliable automotive information. I recommend you see him. Yep, thanks Lucky. Because dealers know how tough it's getting at the auctions, you just need to keep hammering them on their prices. Refuse to pay what they are asking. Refuse. Yep. Ignore their preposterous claims about how rare and hard it is to find used cars. The smart ones will come down and sell at reasonable prices, and they are the ones that you should be doing business with. So to this point, just last week, a 2010 Ford F-150 XLT with 83,000 miles sold for 16.2 at the auction in Atlanta. Who wouldn't have wanted that deal? And a 2015 Volkswagen Passat with 82,000 miles for 4,100. Yeah. You see, some market analysts are waiting to see if the housing market will pop before they speak up. But historically, the automotive sector is 6 to 12 months ahead of housing when it comes to market pops. But housing is most certainly next. For some time now, the normally booming used car market has been facing a serious supply and demand mismatch. As new model availability has decreased due to the semiconductor shortages, many consumers are just simply holding on to their old vehicles instead of trading them in. And good for you. But right now, dealers and auto resellers are counting on a rising number of repossessions to meet the gap in supply. That's really sad when you think yeah. about it. A short time ago, some greedy and unscrupulous dealer put these people into cars they couldn't afford, that they knew they couldn't afford, yeah. and now another greedy dealer waits in the wings to pick up the spoils for pennies on the dollar and hopes they, they can convince one of you suckers to pay high dollars for it. Aren't you so tired of these middlemen just making all this yeah. money? Jeez. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay, so the, the repossessed car stocks are migrating to the used car auctions as their defaults get cleared through the auction processes. The truth is, no matter what nonsense the car dealers tell you about low inventory of used cars, the auto auctions are full. The auto industry is in huge upheaval at the moment, thanks in no small part due to the ongoing semiconductor chip shortage. But with the higher priced cars have come some longer loans and higher payments, unfortunately. As car prices have risen, lenders have offered longer loan terms, allowing more buyers to finance a car. When they shouldn't have. <laughs> right. <laughs> Credit agency Experian reported last year that the percentage of car loans stretching 72 months or longer is higher than ever. Yeah. As prices have grown, the average monthly payment has grown with them. In January, Cox Automotive reported that the average car payment had hit $685 a month. Total insanity. Oh my gosh. And $685 is the average, friends. And that is why repos are through the roof. This has opened the floodgates to illegal repossessions with lenders jumping at the chance to get their hands on people's cars. According to Kelly Blue Book, the federal government agency charged with looking out for Americans' financial health has sent a warning to auto lenders. Don't start repossessing cars before you're legally allowed to. 
The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, CFPB, chief, Rohit Chopra, says the government has only seen a small spike in illegal repossessions, but added the problems could get much worse unless we stay ahead of it. This week, the agency issued new guidance to lenders. The new rules say the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau will be closely reviewing repossession practices by loan servicers that might be tempted to circumvent the law by seizing cars. So why all the concern? High used car prices make it tempting for greedy lenders to snatch a car and try to resell it quickly before the coming price crash. Rahit Chopper went on and told the Washington Post, the concern I keep raising is this is going to create incentives for more aggressive repossession conduct because you can quickly resell this in the used car market, in some cases over the Kelly Blue Book levels. For decades, the math behind used car loans has stayed the same. Mm -hmm. When borrowers fall behind on car payments, lenders generally give them a grace period to catch up on payments. Yeah. They did this, why? Because it raised more money than the lender could get by seizing the car and reselling it. That was true up until the car price spike in recent years. And lenders can even write that grace period into the loan contract itself, or when they send them a letter saying, hey, you're behind your payments, they can establish that grace period then. And with used car prices having increased dramatically over the last year, the average used car sold for more than $27,000 this past January, and that's 29% higher than one year before that. The change in price means lenders can often make more money by seizing and immediately reselling a car than by giving the borrower a chance to catch up. There have been reports of lenders violating their own grace periods. If that happens yep. to be you, make sure you file a complaint to this agency. Earlier in today's video, Kevin, you mentioned a 2010 Ford F-150 with 83,000 miles selling for 16.2 at the auction in Atlanta. Well, yeah, so let's talk about how people can get deals like that faster First, here's a comparative vehicle with much higher miles. I want to share with you, it's a 2011 Ford F-150 with 210,000 miles on it. More miles than I'd want, sure. but notice the selling price of $8,000. Equally important, notice the price drop of $2,777 since it was first listed. That's a 34% drop in just a few weeks time. The dealer had this $8,000 truck priced near 11 grand just a few weeks ago. Yep. Another example from that Atlanta live auto auction was a 2016 Volkswagen Passat with 82,000 miles on it, and it sold for 4,100. Nice. A, a steal of a deal in today's car market. So how does a private buyer jump around the slow moving prices of a dealer and get deals like this? Register for a live auto auction near you. So there is some homework that you need to do before jumping into an auto auction with both feet. First, different auto auction houses have different protocols or proceedings that you'll have to follow when you're there. You'll need to know how the company works, the fees that you'll have to pay, and the requirement for a subscription, if there's any, and if they have what you actually want to buy. If you want to try a place like the Auto Auction Mall, just visit their website, autoauctionmall.com. Don't be alarmed by the dealer-only auction tab. The benefit of places like Auto Auction Mall is that they have the dealer license required to attend these major dealer-only vehicle auctions, sure. like Copart, so you don't need a license yourself. You use theirs. That means everyone is now able to buy these dealer-only auction cars, cutting the greedy dealer right out of the picture. And most car auctions require those who are buying or selling a car just simply to register. If you're interested in buying a vehicle through an auction, then you may need to provide a cash deposit and it's not a big deal. So just budget a few hundred dollars for this. You also have to understand the payment procedures and terms of the auto auction. As there are different auto auction companies, there are also different payment plans for them. Some would prefer check payments, credit card payments, cash payments, or other options. Sure. So. You need to be sure of the payment plan they employ and then pay through that. Do not attempt to pay with a credit card when they only receive cash payments. This could delay your purchase or hinder it entirely. At Auto Auction Mall, the one that Liz mentioned, your buying deposit is paid via your credit card or debit card through their website and payment for your purchase is through bank wire transfer only. Sure. So as a first time private buyer at the auction, it is possible that you don't have a bank account that permits large enough withdrawals or international bank transfers. This could cause complications with the payment. So to prevent that from happening, just contact your bank ahead of time, inform them about your upcoming transactions and take the necessary steps to permit you to make that sizable purchase without the bank holding you back. The bottom line, 
if you decide to cut out the middleman and go directly to the auction yourself, do your homework first. Oh, the homework. It's called the homework guy for a reason. <laughs> do your homework first. And then check out the FAQs at the Auto Auction Mall website. A final lesson for those of you who are happy to wait for prices to fall at the dealer. Just know that prices are tumbling downward at the auctions as used cars are piling up for miles in yeah. auction lots. Don't let a dealer fool you into believing that you're stuck paying their inflated prices because you're not. If you learned something today and you'd like to say thanks for a video with a tip, the links appearing on the screen now will be easy to find down below. And if you enjoyed the video, we'd appreciate you giving us a great big thumbs up. And please always remember to comment and share with family and friends. And if you're not already on board with us, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. The entire Homework Guy team is here to represent you, the car buyer, and that's exactly what we strive to do in every video we produce. The bottom line of today's video, as I shared with you before, for anyone car shopping from here on out, it's time to go full tilt on negotiations. Put a lot of pressure on those dealers. Yep. Make sure you see our last video. Thanks everyone for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with the amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.